Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. So I've had a lot of requests to discuss how I shorten the strap on my Chanel bag and I finally had some time to sit down and film it for you guys. So here I am. <laughs> Today's drink is an iced coffee from Paris Baguette. I just say, my outfit is very military vibes. Um, and yeah, finally wearing my Louis Vuitton belt. So yeah. I'm um, just going to take out my two Chanel bags that I do have. So these are them. Um, I will show you the before and after of modeling shots on uh, before and after the strap shortening. So there's nothing permanent that needs to be done. It is a temporary, a temporary solution. As in like you don't need to permanently alter anything about the bag. The strap will always remain the same length you're just making a little alteration inside so i have it stuffed but here's my pink one so i have it with the thing now um i'll just take it off and show you guys so this is the tool here it just comes like this so i will link it down below this is in the color silver it's like two dollars at most so again, this is what it looks like. So yeah, now that the purse doesn't have this on, it is super duper duper long. So this is um, around the original length of it. And then all I really do is I go inside and then I pull these together. So I've, I wanted to um, wear it like this for about a month or two just to really see if anything was damaging because a lot of you guys did um, reach out to me and ask me if I've seen any damage. Of course, Chanel bags are extremely expensive, so I guess I wanted to be the guinea pig for you guys. Me thinking about the concept of this shortening strap, um, I didn't think there would be any signs of damage just because of the way of how it's set up in the bag. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So this is inside of a Chanel mini rectangular again. So this is how it comes. The, so the two straps come all the way here. So this is the point of the stress point, I guess, where all the weight of the bag is going. So this is where the bag gets its support. And then I just pull in the straps in from each grommet like this. So in a sense, it is shortening the overall length of the strap. So you can see it's a lot shorter. And then I just keep, clip it in place. So hopefully I can do this for you guys. Is by taking it um, and clipping it into the chain itself. Um, I don't like to clip it in with the leather and I kind of struggle to um, squeeze it in there because there's not much space in between this. So it just looks like this, if you guys can see, and then I just close it like that. And then once you pull it up, it kind of stops it from pulling up. Oh, I did it really short, but yeah, that is the overall premise of it. Could have done it a lot neater, but just wanted to show you guys. Um, and then you just close up the bag and la da dee la da do. You know, it is a lot more um, proportionate and everything like that so yeah and of course it doesn't look like it was altered from the outside that's very important to me but yeah I just wanted to discuss the whole design of this way of shortening so the way Chanel designed their bag is the grommet um, protects most of the leather so when the chain is running through the grommet as you guys can hear it's not rubbing against the leather it's rubbing against metal so because of the way it is shortened here um like the chain isn't hitting anything new it's not rubbing against leather it's not rubbing against the outside it's the same setup as it would be if you were wearing it normally just only that there's more weight on the top section of the bag right here but again the grommets save it from ruining the leather and yeah it just seems like it wouldn't be too too much of a difference um so i've worn it like this every single time i've worn it out and i haven't seen any signs of wear as you guys oh, as you guys can see um also i do want to mention that this bag um these two bags are like one of the smallest sizes um if not the smallest size you can get of a chanel bag with the chain um, don't quote me on that but because it's so tiny again there's not much weight on it so there's not much weight 
um, pulling on the back, not much weight stressed on the back. So because of that, I personally haven't seen any um, weird misshaping of the back, anything weird again. So I just want to preface if you plan on trying this out on like a bigger bag, definitely. I mean, of course you're doing it at your own risk, but definitely like if the results are different, like that's probably why, because your bag is bigger. So I, yeah, I really haven't. So this case is just more um, specific to Chanel minis because they are so tiny and they don't carry a lot. So yeah, now I'm gonna go into the modeling shots of before and after so you guys can see. Okay, so hi guys. So I wanted to come on and show you what it looks like, of course, before and after the shortening. Yeah, so it goes right under my bum. My bum is right here. And this is how it fits on me. And then here it is, cross body. This is what it looks like with the clip on my shoulder. I do like it here a lot more. It just feels more proportionate to my body and it doesn't feel so low. I do prefer um, the back here. And then this is what it looks like. I also feel like it would look really cute if you made the strap really short. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you can actually just wear it on your elbow if you wanted. I do like to hand hold it in pictures. I think it looks a lot cooler because it's such a dainty bag. So yeah, I do like to hold it like this. Here it is on the shoulder, kind of like right under your armpit. It looks very like fashion forward. <laughs> So yeah, of course, because we are moving more of the strap inside, you are getting less uh, room inside. Personally, when I do carry a Chanel Mini, um, I know it's a lot for the aesthetic. So I don't really put much in here. Um, I just put my wallet and stuff like that. Chanel Mini almost fell. So now I want to do it with the black one. So this is my black Chanel. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Okay. So if you guys are new here, this is a Chanel mini rectangular. It is in patent leather, calfskin, um, silver hardware. It is in a light pink color, but um, it kind of comes off like beige. So I really like that it is turning into a beige color because patent usually the color will alter a little bit over time for my research. And this is my Chanel mini rectangular in black caviar, silver hardware. I think that's about it. So um, I'll just take out stuffing and then I'll take out um, the tiny little, see it just blends so well, like it took me a while to find it. So here it is um, just with original length with no alterations made. This is how um, you would wear it if you got it from the store. And this one feels a little longer, it goes right under my, it goes a little further past my bum, if you guys can tell. So here it is crossbody. Um, it is lower than the length that I enjoy wearing my bags at, so yeah. And this is how I like to wear it uh, on my shoulder. And then this is cross body. And of course, um, I'll just go ahead and do the same thing I did with the patent one where I made it really, really short. So here it is at a um, relatively shorter length. I think it would look really cute with like, um, like a little black dress.
dress or um, maybe like a fancy dinner. This is definitely not a fancy dinner outfit, but I think when it looks shorter, it just looks a little bit more formal. So with the clip, you can definitely have more versatility with your bag. Of course, a Chanel, of course, a Chanel mini bag is like super classic and you can wear it so many different ways. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Need a drink. So I've taken off both of the shortening clips just to show you guys um, the original length of the chains and stuff. I do think they vary per bag. Um, I've seen other videos where they do. So yeah, they do vary. So I'm just holding them from the same point here. And you can see that the, the caviar one looks like it's longer by like maybe an inch, inch and a half. Not so sure, but yeah. So this was how I shortened my Chanel bag chains. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will link the bag chain shortener that I bought down below. I think I got it from eBay. So yeah, I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it, please like this video. If you're new here and would like to see more from me, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys.